Make sure we got everything on there. Super excited today, back in my hometown, Las Vegas, Nevada. Things are definitely a lot different, but that doesn't mean the city can't reinvent itself. Joining up with our friends over at Lip Smacking Foodie Tours, they actually have a new self-guided tour called the Finger Licking Foodie Tour. We chose one of three options, which is the off the strip version. Some of the best hidden gems in Las Vegas are the restaurants and strip malls. I know, I said it, strip malls. So we're going up to one of the first places here, a tapas spot. Espana! Got a mask up. What do we have here? It's the Hendrix Gin and Tonic. <sighs> Nothing like a gin and tonic on a hot summer day. So EDO Gastro Tapas and Wine is a Barcelona themed Spanish concept. It's from around the world as well, but focusing on Barcelona and focusing on Spain where Chef Oscar Amador is from. Hi, I'm uh, Chef Oscar Amador from Idio Tapas here in Vegas. We are serving tonight for the finger licking uh, tour, Montadito de Jamón. We are uh, serving two uh, green tartar with a uh, pistachio vinaigrette and uh, some rice crackers. And then our special croqueta of the week, that this week is uh, porcini mushrooms and lobster. And then to finish, we're gonna finish with the bikini, one of the staples of the house, that is a uh, pressed sandwich with soda salad and mount cheese. Ah, uh, jamón, my favorite. Yep, so the first dish, uh, Montadito of Jamón Ibérico. Um, the Jamón Ibérico, uh, straight from Spain, all acorn fed. Salud. Wow, jamón's already one of my favorite things I have, and this is spectacular. Ready for the ball of deliciousness? Can't wait to come back here and uh, also excited for the rest of the restaurants on the tour. Wow, that was incredible. I can't believe I have two more places to go. Uh, Uber's right here, included in the tour, so you don't even have to think about anything. Let's go. On to stop number two, the Finger Lickin' Foodie Tour. Going to a local favorite, Lamai. This is a restaurant I've actually been to. Incredible, very difficult to get into, which is why you need to do the tour. Very light, fresh, a hint of garlic, perfect little seasoning on top of it. Got a little bit of a kick, but not enough to force you to go to the tequila drink. Uh, oh, wow. This pad thai crispy prawn with rice noodles, have been sprout, green onions, crushed peanuts with the tamarind sauce. With a nice little flour. Thank you. <laughs> such a difference when you actually have real prawns. Not like this tiny little shrimp you're sprinkling the infilled with, but like the real prawns. Like, you know, the ones that sitting on top of the whole pad thai. That's when you know you've come to a legit place. Who'd have thought inside of a strip mall? Oh, that was some of the best thai I've ever had. You're gonna have to wheel the hotel boss home. Still got one restaurant to go. Yeah, I've never been here before. Excited to taste the cuisine. Tough to get in here, especially now with all the social distancing requirements, but excited to be able to go on the tour and be able to check this place out. Spring Mountain Sour, as you can see here. These aren't your normal drinks. Beets inside of a cocktail, I said the same thing. 
but you gotta trust the owner when he says this is one of their signature cocktails. Cheers. Our free and short ribs. This is not fusion. It's sort of the bad F word. We yeah. call it more borderless. Yeah. The chef really does steel flakes. I like that. I like that. Really, really does. And uh, finish off with some great crunchy stuff. Aurora, sesame seeds, scallions. In the middle is jowl. Jowl is a uh, Thai steak vinaigrette. And the idea is it's a, it all points to the palate. They're sweet, salty, spicy, a ton of umami. Like tickles on the back of the neck. Man. So this is going to fall off the bone with a dirty look. The knife is simply to intimidate other people. I'm going in. Right, and you're right here, back of the neck, all the different flavors, little crunch. My ribs at home don't taste like this. For our Coupe de Gracie, this is Sparrow and Wolf's Honey Toast. The only dessert that's been on our menu since we've opened the restaurant, and it's a tribute to being in Chinatown. Uh, this will make you feel like you did something wrong, but yeah. I believe that guilt and good food go hand in hand, brother. So I hope you've enjoyed everything. No, so thank you so much. The world having you in. We genuinely appreciate no, it. No, thank you so much. Your hospitality, you know, I really appreciate it. Food is incredible. Right <laughs> Dig it in. Make sure you got everything on there. This shouldn't be legal. Amazing. Finger licking foodie tour pro hack. Pace yourself. I got a little aggressive once I saw the hamon, one of my favorite dishes. Boom, jumped right in. I ensured that I walked around a little bit, did a couple laps around the building, let it flush, let it flush. My point is, there's a ton of food. This is such great value. I can't even imagine the price point. To be honest with you, add the drinks on top of it, there's no better deal in Vegas. Three restaurants, you get to taste everything within that type of cuisine. Totally different cuisines. Today, you saw it. I went tapas all the way out to España. Then I had Thai food. Yes, next to it, Macy's Home Furniture Store. Bet you would have never gone there and then came to one of the most eclectic restaurants here in Las Vegas.